Hey, hey, it's Thursday. Welcome to Like a Native Speaker, where I answer all of the questions your textbooks don't. All right, guys, so a very long time ago, I made my very first video on YouTube, and it was about the difference between British and American spelling. But I know, when you watched those videos, you wanted to know, what about the Canadians? How do they spell things? Well, because Canadian spelling is so important and is used on every test, it's time to tell you. Actually, Canadian spelling is a mix of British and American styles. Because of that, I strongly recommend you watch my British and American spelling video. It's okay, I'll wait. Watched it? Awesome. So on one side, we've got the British spelling, and on the other side, we've got the American spelling. But rather than just tell you the difference, I thought it would be better to show you. So I actually went around my hometown of Vancouver and found examples of Canadian spelling. Here we've got the O-U-R-O-R. -R. In Canada, we basically always use O-U-R. Here's an interesting example from a SkyTrain advertisement. The ad for contact lenses actually uses both spellings, the O-U-R, in the main ad, and in the picture they use the OR. This kind of thing is actually common in Canada. The advertisement was made by and for Canadians, so it uses O-U-R. But the image they're using is actually from the United States, so it uses the O-R spelling. The next one is the I-S-E versus the I-Z-E. If you look here on this bottle of moisturizer, you see that the Canadians use the American style, I-Z-E. But I-S-E doesn't really look that strange, and everyone would understand what it means. After that, we've got the E-R and R-E spelling. So what does Canada do? Let me show you. This is the sign for Pacific Center, Vancouver's downtown mall. Notice R-E spelling. In Canada, we usually use the British style, mostly because of the influence from French. But if you look here at this gym sign, it actually uses E-R. Again, this shows that both spellings are acceptable, but on larger or more public things, R-E is the more common one. And on to the next one, the L-E-D endings, or the L-L-E-D. Honestly, I couldn't really find an example of that, but I grew up learning the L-L-E-D. I know friends of mine who grew up learning the L-E-D, so both are actually common. But because I learned the L-L-E-D, that's the one I think is right. And a bonus one that wasn't in the American and British spelling video. S-E or C-E in words like defense. When I was growing up, I learned to spell defense with an S. So I was shocked when I went to the Canadian Legion near my house, and I found that it was spelled with a C-E, not an S. I had apparently been learning it wrong. I suppose that officially Canadian spelling uses these examples from British English and these examples from American English, but most Canadians are so familiar and comfortable with both that we don't even really think about it. If we see center or center spelled either way, it's most people don't even notice. Canadians are awesome like that. So the short form is, because of Canada's history, we use a mix of both spellings. If you liked my video, please subscribe, and sharing it would really help me out. I want the world to see these videos, and I will see you next time.